Hi friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my kitchen experience, but today I'm not cooking. I just want to show you one of those things that I do uh, when I'm about to cook. Will I say when I'm about to cook? Or something that I do uh, maybe on a monthly basis, yeah. But today I want to show you how I clean my momo. And I do this on a monthly basis. Uh, this is how it looks. This is how we get it from Nigeria. You can see how it is. It's been burnt. This one is not just roast. It's been burnt, you know. Then we have to uh, soak and wash. Not until I came to abroad. I never saw this version of Pomo. You know, we always buy the fresh one. So today, this is how we get it from Nigeria. Today, I want to be showing you how I get it to that level of the Pomo you and I know. So, um, the procedure is not a difficult one, but it's the washing that is majorly the big deal thing. So, I'll be soaking it in the water. This is hot water. And I'll be adding my vinegar just to, you know, eradicate the germ. I don't need to tell you the process this may have gone through. So I normally will soak for today, tomorrow, and I'll be washing the next day. So this is how it looks, you can see. Putting it in the water. So this is how it is. Then I will just cover it. Tomorrow I'll change the water again. Maybe I'll carry you through the whole process. This is how we leave it until it softens. So I leave it on top of the uh, kitchen counter. So, like I said, I promise to take you through this process. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for doing all those good stuff. Make sure you thumbs up if you watch this. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Uh, today is the third day that I've soaked this uh, pomo. So I'll be showing you how I wash it. So you can see the transformation, or rather they call it metamorphosis. You see how it has metamorphosed from that very dry um, pomo to what we are seeing right now. So let's go and wash it properly. Yes, guys, this is where we are right now. You can see it's time consuming to do a lot of them. So, this is what I will be doing for the month, except otherwise.
the final rings. It's been thoroughly washed, scraped. I'm not actually sure there is any <laughs> nutritional value as regards this uh, but we we'll just love eating it. I'll take it to the freezer. Then maybe for a few hours, then I'll come and shake it off. Then everything will be standing on the floor. If you have watched up to this time, God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and make sure you are part of this family. God bless you. Keep basking in the joy of the Lord until I come your way with another video. Bye.